Amplified, it says, Even so the tongue is a little member, and it can boast of great things. See how much wood or how great a forest a tiny spark can set ablaze? We've all seen the news stories about the huge forest fires, acres, thousands of acres destroyed because of a spark, a yeah. small coal, a yeah. cigarette, a car muffler, just something very small can set. Thousands and thousands of lives are changed. It's not good. But I believe our lives are the same way. Yeah. Whenever our souls are dry, it doesn't take much to set us off. Yeah. You know, yeah. somebody says something the wrong way, we're, yeah. we're just enraged with hate. Anger, jealousy, yeah. you know, just offense. We're just offended all the time because our souls are dry. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to water our souls yeah. way more frequently than we do. Isaiah forty four three says, "For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon my seed, and blood and my blessing upon my offspring." It says he'll pour water upon him that is thirsty. Well, to be thirsty means your body's in need. So yeah. we need water. So that means if we don't have it, we're dehydrated. Yep. The church is dehydrated. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've gone too long with just watering our soul on Sunday mornings and yes. then going home and yes. doing nothing about yes. it. Wow. We need to water our souls. Yeah. Recognizing the symptoms of dehydration is what the doctors say is the first step. Mm -hmm. So some of the symptoms of dehydration are weakness, mm -hmm. confusion, mm -hmm. dry mouth. Kind of sounds like a church today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are too, weak, too dry and too confused to put our foot down and say no. We try to fit in with the dry people so we don't make waves. We know where the abundance of water is, but we won't tell them. We're yeah. hiding it. Yeah. We're watching the world die because we know where the abundance of water is, but we won't share it. Oh. Why would we not share it? Yeah. Come on. So Revelation 22 1 says, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Lots of rivers. For the best way for me to hydrate is to worship. You know, worship brings you closer to the throne. Sure. I love worship. Amen. But to worship, you need your tongue, and it's set on fire of heaven. <laughs> That's why worship is hard. <laughs> we can cheer our kids on, we can cheer our favorite teams on, but it's time to come up here on Sunday and cheer our God on. It's yeah. Yeah. We need to go to all the other churches, Christian. <laughs> but you know, our tongue is a weapon that hell wants. Yeah. Too many times we use it in in quickness, you know, we lash out. We, Come on. We just say what's the first thing that comes to our mind without even thinking about what we say, and it's usually not good. Yeah. So the devil <laughs> wants our tongue. That's why it's set on the fire of hell. But a weapon isn't used against a certain person. A weapon can be used either way we choose to wield it. Mm -hmm. That's right. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So our words carry weight because of the gift of God inside of us. Yeah. Right. So whenever you say so and so is stupid so-and-so, look at them. You know, when God said, let there be light, he didn't say, oh, every morning I gotta get up, man, I gotta wake the sun up, I gotta fuel the sun. No, God said, let there be light. And that word echoed through time. Right. It's still lighting the sun today. Yeah. What are you speaking over somebody Come that's on. echoing through time? Come on. That's yeah. affecting generation to generation to that's generation. True. Great. What are we using to tear down our world around us? We should be building up our world around That's us. Right. That's right. right. We are the Godhead inside of us. Our words are what basically coming from God. We are His authority on this earth. Right. 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 So word. we have to fight against that. You know, our tongue is a constant battle. Yeah. yeah. So in closing, all four minutes of it, <laughs> Robin, it's time to use your weapon. Revelation 12, 11 says, And they have conquered him by the means of the blood of the Lamb and by the utterance or the word of their testimony. Yeah. It's time to jack the devil up. Yeah. Yeah. In Genesis, yeah. God smashed the yeah. devil out of heaven. Right. Yeah. 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 Down like lightning hitting yeah. the earth. That's right. Amen. At the cross, Jesus whooped them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because of what Woo. Jesus did at the cross, we can smash him too. Yeah. Right. So now, as Robin gives her testimony, I want you all to close your eyes and imagine her Jack and the devil up. <laughs> <laughs> A few of you know in this room my testimony. Um, about five years ago, my gallbladder quit working. It was functioning at 3%, and the doctors wanted to remove it. 
I went, saw all the doctors, scheduled the surgery, but something rose up in me that said, no, God gave yeah. me this organ, I need it. Yeah. So we began to pray and it was probably two weeks. I was at the altar by myself praising God and my entire right side got warm and it was healed. I even had a CAT scan to prove it. Woo! Wow. Woo! Yeah.